Well, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, C.L. King, coming to you live from the High Definition Studios here in the glorious city of Jacksonville, North Carolina. Yeah, man, I am flying with y'all tonight. We're about to get busy, man. We'll give y'all some stuff that typically people pay for. And I said, you know what? You know, I'm, I, you know, haven't gotten, went through the hours and hours of training for these uh, life coaching certifications. I realized that I needed to be able to provide this every now and then, every now and then for a limited time (laughs) and bless people with truly what we do in the lab. And what we've created is a training that is something that you can sink your teeth into something that you can man when you hear the words and you hear the the parables and you hear the 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 way it's laid out it's going to resonate with you so i'm giving this training tonight it is called grind mode and y'all hear people talk about being in the grind sometimes it's negative it's a negative con- connotation but we took that whole concept and said now nah, man we want to make this a positive and we want to show people how to tap into a mentality that you, you all of us out here scrapping trying to be successful well we want to show people how to tap into a mentality that is a mode it's a mode ladies and gentlemen grind mode is a mode and i you know i got all types of folks out here multimillionaires that use this word grind they put themselves in a position to create something from nothing and so welcome to impacting life 24 7 this is an international podcast ladies and gentlemen that is heard in 33 states around the world and around the country and 11 or 12 different countries we're on 17 or 18 different platforms and our staff of five is hustling i have in my inbox so many um messages of people wanting to be on this show and so it's a whole operation that we have to utilize to vet people because we don't just bring anybody on the show and and uh you know we have to see if they're a good fit for you the most important fit of all things that we do is that it's a fit for our audience uh, because we value you and our podcast audience those folks listening on podcast impacting life 24 7 on apple itunes spotify everywhere on the planet that you can download you can even uh, ask alexa to play impacting life 24 7 and she will play it I said, man, we going uptown, Greg, if you get Alexa to play. (laughs) And so if you'd like to connect with us, all you got to do is go to clkingspeaker.com, ladies and gentlemen, clkingspeaker.com. And uh, that's where you can find out what it is that we do. Greg and I were just talking, and then I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to share my screen with y'all. Let me start sharing that now so you guys can see that, man, we we about business today, y'all. Um, Greg and I was talking about the, the bullying conference that we did back in 2012. And that was, that literally was a miracle that we pulled that off. I mean, it was Greg, me, my wife and kids, and maybe a handful of other folks, man. It was just, uh, I think, uh, Wally Davis helped us and Miss, uh, Miss Arlene Walker helped and Gail Slate, of course she did help. I have to remember her, but man, we rented out in a big old riverfront convention center. I mean, this thing is thousands of square feet. We didn't even have the money to actually pull the thing off. And Greg and I said, man, we're going to do it. We're going to pull this bullying summit off. We, we brought 66 cities into the city of New Bern, North Carolina, 66 cities of police, principals, teachers, educators, uh, youth advocates it pastors leaders and uh, we had four news crews there and it was an absolute grind greg and i remember we we handed out greg worked with the young marines thank god for those young fellas and and ladies he helped they helped us hand out over 2500 door hangers we had full color double-sided door hangers we greg and i put up over 50 road signs you know like you see the campaign folks do we did that uh, all throughout uh eastern carolina then some 
some of the city folks took up our signs. <laughs> and so we went and we had to go get, keep moving the signs. So it looked like we was everywhere. And it was uh, no money. No, we just had faith, man. We just said, we're going to do it. And that is a mentality, ladies and gentlemen, that I need you to tap into tonight. I give this training to corporate uh, organizations. I give it to faith-based groups. I give it to community centers, uh, but I don't usually give it for free. But I said, you know, because I've been blessed and I've been blessed, I, I, I will not lie to you. We have been blessed. Everything that we have set out to do, it seems to be blessed by the hand of God and we give him all credit. And so, yeah, City Hall was not happy about them signs because it wasn't a political season. It was in October and Greg and I was just out there absolutely hustling. If you had breath, we was trying to get you to come to the summit. And uh, it was it was a literal Mount Siribachi foot by foot climb to get that get that event done. I mean, the day of the event, I didn't have enough money to feed all the people breakfast. And we had to hustle and get breakfast there because we started at nine o'clock. We forgot to have breakfast. We had lunch, t-shirts, bags, giveaways, all that, but we forgot the people might want some coffee and a snack. And so that is a mentality that you got to tap into. So I'm going to get you into the grind mode. I want you to understand that when you look at a grinder on a wheel, you see that it produces sparks. Ladies and gentlemen, you look at the grind, you look at it right there on your screen. You can see that the wheel is producing sparks. So there is some sort of uh, effect. There's a cause and effect. And oftentimes people get stuck in the grind of their nine to five or the grind of their 30 year gold watch employment or the grind of, you know, I just, I got to get up every morning and go into the office. Or I got to get up every morning and go dig a ditch. It becomes a grind. But what I try to do, what we're teaching people is we took that acronym grind and we said, it's a mode. It's not, it's not a, it's not an attitude. It's a mode. It's a way, it's a way of life, the grind mode. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this with you tonight and what does grind mode mean? What does grind mean? It means to sharpen, to smooth, or produce something by crushing or friction. Okay, you got to understand that being in the grind mode is not, not everybody can be in grind mode, folks. Okay, I hate to tell you that, but not everybody's cut out to be a grinder. Not everybody's cut out to be in grind mode. Not everybody has the mindset. Not everybody has the, the acumen, the mental capacity to actually produce these sparks. Not everybody can do it. it it's power from a water wheel was used to grind cutlery. And look at the other definitions, to sharpen, to wet, to make sharper, sharper, to hone, to file, to stroke, to smooth, polish, sand, use sandpaper. This is a definition of grind, ladies and gentlemen. And when you look at it in the natural, you see that there are results associated with it. You can't be grinding and not see no sparks. Are you following what I'm saying? You can't be grinding and not see some change. Grinding is action. The, the mode and the mentality of grinding is like, yo, man, I, I, there, I should be seeing something for my effort. And oftentimes people say, man, I'm in the grind, but are you really in the grind? Are you seeing any effort? I mean, are you seeing any results for your effort or are you just spinning around on a wheel? What are the results of your grind? And so I'm going to break it down for you. The G-R-I-N-D, you're going to get in a mode tonight that's going to change your life. So what does the G stand for? It does not stand for Fred G. Sanford. For those of you that's old enough, and have maybe have watched reruns late at night. I don't even know if Fred Sanford still comes on. But watch this, ladies and gentlemen. You look at that truck and you laugh because it's dilapidated. And the exterior of it looks like it, it doesn't produce anything. But it, that's not what the G stands for, okay? The G does not stand for Fred G. Sanford. <laughs> even though I, I found out a whole lot about that whole show, there was a lot of friction going on in, in uh, Sanford and Son. Nobody, nobody really knew that behind the scenes man uh, the g stands for generate i'm helping you i'm giving this to you for free tonight so you better take notes this will only stay up on facebook live for 24 hours and then our team is taking it down that's how that's how exclusive this training is and i'm giving it to you tonight absolutely free okay the g is to generate and what does generate mean to cause 
to cause something, especially an emotion or situation to arise or come about. It's a cause, ladies and gentlemen. You cause something to happen. You are the because. When you walk in the room, they say that they don't say that's CL King. They say that's because. When I walk in the room, I walk in the room like, hey, listen, this is my room now. I I command the atmosphere in here. Similar words are cause, give, rise to lead, br to bring a result in, bring about, bring into being, create, make, produce, initiate, engender, and spawn. That's what the G stands for. And if you are going to ever be in grind mode, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand this. Get it now. The G stands for generate. It don't stand for Fred G. Sanford. It stands for generate. You got to be someone that is generating something. Am I helping anybody tonight? You got. I want you to share this, okay? But that people can get it. They can screen record it and keep it for the rest of their lives. But when you go back tomorrow night, this will be taken down. It's an exclusive training, ladies and gentlemen. People pay thousands of dollars for this, for me to come to, and Greg and I to come to their organizations and show them because they, they just are not getting it. What does it mean for my employees? What does it mean for my cubicle? What does it mean for me to be in grind mode? And I'm trying to help you tonight. To sow seeds of, to affect, to originate. Some of y'all out here copying everything, man. You, you trying to be like somebody else. I, I told this to our Leadership Institute today, ladies and gentlemen, that I said the greatest thing we as leaders can help other people be is themselves. Huh? I love E.T., man. He is one of my most, he is my most favorite motivational speaker. He's the number one motivational speaker in the world. But I'm not E.T. I have not changed my style to be like him. I was radical and wild before I ever met the man, before I ever knew him. And he, we just happen to have the same kind of genre. But I can't be him. That brother's a multimillionaire. I'm just trying to get there. Are you feeling me? So I'm not going to change. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to all of a sudden become a cookie cutter ET. I'm not going to become a Jeremy Anderson, who is an, a, an excellent motivational speaker. I'm not going to become a Zig Ziglar or a Les Brown. I'm not going to become any of those guys. But what I will do is I'll say, okay, I see them brothers is generating something. They're not sitting around talking about it. They're not lamenting about the current atmosphere. They're not debating. They're not sitting around and giving statistical analysis. They are generating. Are you feeling me? To precipitate, promote, provoke, kindle, trigger. I want, I'm giving you, man, this is stuff that you got to think about. Are you doing any of these things? Trigger, spark off, touch off, stir up, whip up, induce, inspire, promote. This is what the G stands for. Don't stand for Fred G. Sanford. The G stands for generate. The G stands for generate. To induce, inspire, promote, conjure, beget, enkindle effectuate the g ladies and gentlemen stands for generate and those are similar words for generate if you are going to be in grind mode ladies and gentlemen you must be a generator if you can't generate anything you're not in grind mode your mo your mode and mentality and your way of life is just different and that's fine if you want to punch somebody else's clock if you just wanted to get your 30 years and picture and go watch go ahead and do that that that's that but that's not grind mode all right you know even listen to me now and i'm, I'm gonna help you even going and working hard you know putting fries in the basket fried chicken pouring concrete that's not grind mode that's not a grind mode mentality. I, just because you work hard, that doesn't mean you're in the grind mode. Uh, uh, the G in grind means you generate, you cause. If you got to survive exclusively off of someone else's ingenuity, you're not in grind mode. I'm just telling you now. Focus on what you can generate, even if it's something little. You know, I saw some kids in the neighborhood and, you know, some neighborhoods are just absolutely asinine. They don't they you know, they got all these rules and requirements and associations and all that. And I understand they're trying to keep the neighborhood good. But, man, you know, you can't go and arrest a couple kids for selling, getting a little hustle with a lemonade stand in the community. Right. That's called generating. 
They're not sitting around waiting for someone to, you know, they're not going to go to food line and buy lemonade. They went and bought the lemon, squeezed it, put all the ingredients in there and said, we're going to go out here on the, on the edge of our driveway and we're going to generate some income. That's the grind mode mentality, y'all. They control their destiny. They, they, are the, they, they are the starters. They generate. So when you generate, that means that's forward momentum, okay? Look, I'm helping you now. This is, a, this is, a, this is an in-depth training that I'm giving to you on Impacting Life 24-7. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to Impacting Life and listening on our podcast. I'm, I'm trying to paint the picture for you while you're listening and for those of watching live. Generate moving forward. That's forward momentum. It's not wrong to take a nap. It's not wrong to take a break, man. I get away uh, and I do it regularly because the weight of, of producing and, and trying to pr produce quality shows and lining up events and, and uh, special events and appearances and all of these things. It, it's weighty, man. It takes a lot out of you. And so taking a nap isn't wrong. It's wrong to live in a perpetual nap. Look at his brother on the couch. The net, you guys can't see it on the podcast, but I had a picture up of Fred G. Sanford's truck compared to uh, some cat laying down on the couch. Okay, leaders in grind mode are constantly looking forward generate forward momentum generating something from nothing that's right you know you you're waiting on somebody to give you an idea or do i need to have a brainstorming session do i need to have a strategy session no get your butt a blank piece of paper and say man you know what this is this is what i've been having in my mind and i'm gonna bring this to pass okay generate something for nothing not waiting around to piggyback off of somebody else's idea you know, I didn't, I, Greg and I didn't start this podcast because we saw someone else start one. I will be flat out honest with you. We did not start our podcast because we saw someone else start one. In fact, our podcast start was probably <laughs> a flop, but we started it because we wanted to have another platform where we weren't waiting around for someone to invite us to speak. We weren't waiting around for another conference. We weren't waiting around to get our name on a marquee. No, we said, you know what? We're gonna, we wanna create and generate forward momentum with the CL King Group Incorporated. So we're gonna create our own platform. So we ain't sitting out around on the couch. It takes work, it takes requirements, it takes dedication. It does not take it does not take taking a nap. So which will generate more forward momentum if you compare the two? You can look at Fred G. Sanford's truck and say, man, it's it's dilapidated. You can but but look at the guy on the couch. You go put the key in Fred G. Sanford's truck and it starts. You got forward momentum. You can generate something. You can generate a trans transition from one state to another. But when you look at the guy on the couch, that brother ain't generating nothing. The grind mode, ladies and gentlemen, is the G in grind mode is what will you generate? You must be a willing generator. And if you missed what I told you the G stands for and the synonyms, you'll have to go back and watch it, but it only lasts for 24 hours, ladies and gentlemen. So what does the R stand for? I'm moving along. The R is not for Bugs Bunny, the silly rabbit. Okay. Some people, some people are like, okay, what's the R? What, tell me what the R means. What is the R? You know, Rakim said, what does the R mean? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, the R is not for a silly rabbit. Here's what the R stands for. The R in the grind mode, ladies and gentlemen, is resistance. <sighs> Woo. I felt that one. The ability not to be affected by something. The resistance, the R stands for the resi for resistance. It don't stand for being a silly rabbit. It stands for being of the ability not to be affected by something, especially adversely. The, the tagline of everything I say, no matter the adversity, you still can make it. The, the ability not to be affected by something. Similarly, it means the ability to fight off, the ability to counteract, the ability to withstand, immunity from, defenses against, resilience. Oh, I love this training too, Brother Greg. Put our website up there, clkingspeaker.com. If you'd like for us to come and give this exclusive training that's going to set on fire your corporation or your individuals, we'll come, clkingspeaker.com. The R in the grind mode, I'm teaching you guys. Guys, I'm going very deliberately tonight. I'm giving you an exclusive behind-the-scenes all-access training that stays up on Facebook Live for 24 hours. The R is is the ability it you've got to have resistance 
the ability not to be affected by something, especially adversely, right? We have seen in the news a whole ton, a metric ton of adversity going on in the world. And what we have to do if you're going to be in grind mode is you can't be getting sidetracked by all the, by all the noise, by all the chaff. So, you know, when planes were flying in World War II to come in to do their bomb run and, and, the, and the ships down below were shooting up cannons, it wasn't, it wasn't just the, the bomb, it was the explosion, the chaff that, that could take out the plane. You can't be distracted by the chaff. You got to develop a resistance to it. The ability not to be affected by something. Have you developed, here's the question, ladies and gentlemen, I got Will Smith on here from uh, In Pursuit of Happiness. Look at him. He's, he's in, getting ready to interview, showed up without his suit on, paint all over his hands and face, looking disheveled, and they're like, okay, wait a minute. You're supposed to come here and interview for our intern program to be a stockbroker. You're looking like you a bag man. And here's my question in the, in the R, the R, have you developed a resistance to resistance? <laughs> I'm asking you a question. Have you developed a resistance to resistance? See, because not everybody's going to appreciate what you do. Not everybody's going to support you. Not everybody's going to clap for you. Not everybody's going to agree with you. Not everybody's going to think that what you're doing is right. Listen, approach your craft like a pro. This is what I love about this scene in Pursuit of Happiness, that Will Smith came in there. Uh, Chris Gardner came in there as Will Smith. Will Smith as Chris Gardner. He came in there like he owned it. And he looked like he should be downstairs taking out the trash. But he came in there like he owned it. The R in, in the grind mode, the training that I'm giving you tonight exclusively on Impacting Life 24-7. For, it stays up for 24 hours and that's it. The R is have you developed a resistance to resistance? Know your motivation. Be clear and focused. Eliminate distractions and get busy. You know, Chris Gardner could have said, man, you know what? Uh, everything failed against me. I, I had to pay a whole bunch of parking tickets. I had to run to get to the interview. I was painting the night before. They tried to throw me in jail, and here I am. I, you know what he could have did? Because of all of that resistance, he could have just said, forget it. I'm obviously not supposed to have this job. I'm obviously not supposed to be a stockbroker. I'm obviously not supposed to do this. But the resistance, he was resistant to it. He had built up an immunity. He had said, you know what? I don't care what comes my way way what adversity come and listen those that are in grind mode the, the the training that we give when we train people about being in grind mode it's a different mentality ladies and gentlemen it's you know if everything fails if the computer cuts off if the lights don't work if everything else falls apart man we're gonna find the way to resist the resistance when Greg and I formed our nonprofit years ago back in 2009 man, there wasn't people beating down our door trying to help us and, and our goal was to try to help at-risk kids. Our goal was to try to help students become better. Our goal was to try to help young people make better choices. Our goal was to try to help educators and, and parents and leaders in the community better interact with the young people. And they were just like, mm. I'm like, man, can you guys help us? Mm. Anyway, we're just, trying, we're just trying to get out here and do the thing. Mm -mm. It was a resistance. And you know what we developed? We developed an immunity. We developed the R, which is resistance to resistance. And this is what I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen. Your resistance may not be seen by all, but that's okay. Grind on. Grind on. When, when, when everything, when you've planned it all out, you got it scripted, and then everything that you scripted, there's a roadblock for everything you plan, grind on. It's a different mentality, ladies and gentlemen. It's a different mode. There's a difference in the cats that have to go put their helmet down and ring the bell, and it's a, a, then the guys, after all the weeks of training and going through hell week, that ring the bell and say it pays to be a winner. There's a difference be between coming to Navy SEAL and the cat that quits they develop the resistance to all the resistance that the instructors were putting them through 
there's a different mentality. Why is it, you know, that, you know, us only a small percentage of folks that go through Navy SEALs training actually make it because they have a grind mode mentality and they have developed a resistance to anything that resists them. The R stands for resistance. You get immune to resistance. The I, boy, I'm, I'm, we're just moving along. The I is not for illusionists. I, the, I asked one time, I was given this training, and I asked, did anybody know who this was? And they were like, oh, uh, I don't know. His name is David Copperfield, ladies and gentlemen. Those of you guys who can't see him, he's holding up a uh, an iPad with no hands, and he's showing an illusion. And I want you to know that sometimes people live their life in an illusion. Right. Young people, let me talk to you, man. You know, if you working out here and you doing your thing and you trying to save up your paper, man, that's a great thing. But if you just riding off of off of mom and dad's, you know, coattails and you just riding the gravy train, you are in an illusion. You, 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 you know, you got a house paid for. You got a car. Everything's good to go. You are living in an illusion. That is not real life. Real life is when you got to worry about when the elect if the electricity stays on. Real life is when you got to worry about what magically appears in a refrigerator. Real life is when when your when your car is on E, you can't just say, "Hey, mom, dad, cash at me something." Real life is, "Hey, man, I got to come up with some cash to put the gas in the car." That's the real life. And I and and I think you know even being born in adversity and group homes and foster homes and homelessness and all that kind of stuff that I went through I think even after that you know a lot of people talk about the successes that I've had you know going to the Marine Corps and stuff but man we still had to grind we had to be in a different mode even coming up my wife and I and I we got six kids living a you know after the Marine Corps six kids living in a single wide trailer making eight dollars an hour trying to support a family. We, we, we didn't have nobody here. We've been in Eastern Carolina for almost 30 years. We left Cleveland, Ohio, left everything we knew, left everything that was familiar, left our land of nativity, our country and our kindred. And we came here and we raised a family and we did it. It was absolutely hard, ladies and gentlemen. It, but we, we didn't have an illusion mentality. The eye is not for illusion. You know what the eye is for? The eye is for impetus. If you're going to be in grind mode, if you're going to have this mentality, you've got to have the I, which is impetus. And what does impetus mean? The force that makes something happen or happen quickly. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm just trying to teach a little bit tonight. You're getting this exclusive training, grind mode uh, leadership training by CL King. Greg and I put this together back in the lab uh, uh, several years ago, and we give this exclusively to organizations and corporations. But I said, you know what? Since I worked so hard to get this life coach, all these life coaching certifications, I said, because my guests canceled tonight or rescheduled tonight, I said, you know what? I like having a microphone from time to time. I'm going to give this out for absolutely free. But it ain't staying up all the time. It's only staying up for 24 hours. The I in grind mode is impetus. It means the force to make something happen quickly. Here's some similar words. Momentum, propulsion, impulsion, impelling force, motive force, uh, driving force, drive, thrust, continuing motion, energy, force, power, push, stream, strength. Are you listening to me, ladies and gentlemen? You, If you're in grind mode, you've got to have impetus. That's what the I stand for. You don't wait around for everybody else to get something going for you. Y'all want me to be controversial? Y'all know I love people. I'm in the people business, right? I'm in the people business. Listen to me and listen to me very, very closely. Because everything that I say, if I say something that, that rubs you the wrong way, let me tell you something. I've lived it. So I don't just talk off the top of my head. But we are in a state right now. Because I just got back off of travel where businesses cannot get, find people to work. And there's a whole bunch of reasons why. Okay. One of the reasons why is because folks is getting a check. And I'm down with it if you need it. But where's the impetus? Where's the impetus to get moving? See, when I aged out of foster care, they were going to give me an opportunity to 
be on what was called independent living and the system would take care of me for the next year or two years and I would get everything paid for. And I declined, I rejected independent living from the foster care system. I said, you know what? No, 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 no. I got to make this happen. I got, there's something in me that says, no, nah, I don't want y'all to, to, to spoon food, spoon feed me. I want to continue to march. I got to, I got to go. I got somewhere to be and I can't be handcuffed to y'all doling out your, your tokens of appreciation for me. I'm going to make this thing happen myself. The impetus, the force to make something happen quickly. And here's what I'm telling you, man, you cannot rely on just stuff coming to you all the time. Sometimes you've got to be the force that makes it happen. If you got a talent, you got to get my gear training, ladies and gentlemen, because the G is, man, use your giftings to make something happen. And the I in grind mode means the I is for impetus. I'm just teaching you, okay? If you're upset, if you're getting $600 a week and you're upset of what I just said, let me tell you something. I, I've lived and worked a whole lot harder for a whole lot less. My foster mom just ingrained in me that excuses were not, were not an option. She said, get boom, get moving. The impetus. I had something planned. I set it up when I was 18. It fell through. I, I pivoted and I was standing on the yellow footprints of Uncle Sam. Came back, got married, moved in base housing, did my time, and then started working, started grinding. Said, man, you know what? I'm just gonna start from the bottom. I started from the barrel, man. I said, I am I am in the bowels of the bottom. And and here we are living in a trailer where the wind, you could feel the wind blowing through the house. It never got cold in the summer and it never got hot in the winter. Possums living up under there. It was an absolute train wreck. And I said, you know what? We just gonna keep on getting it. I'm the impetus. God has given me something greater. And though we living in a trailer now, I back then when I was 18, 20 years old, I don't live in a trailer now, ladies and gentlemen. And this is what the this is why grind mode people in this mode are different than those that are just kind of hanging out and just going with the flow. And this training is not for everybody, ladies and gentlemen, because I got to give it to you straight. I, you know, the Bible says salt is good. I can't always give you sugar. I can't always give you cream puff stuff. I got to sometimes tell you straight up what you need to hear. And the I means get off your carcass and get moving. Whoa, Jesus have mercy. <laughs> Do you have the impetus to push the rock uphill? See, this is the in Greek mythology, this cat, this king of, uh, in Etheria, he was punished for his self-aggrandizing craftiness and deceitfulness. So he was punished by being forced to roll an immense boulder up a hill, only for it to roll down every time he neared the top, repeating this action for eternity. You know, as a Lean Six Sigma Greenbelt, I help organizations help with their process improvement. And I've heard this term be used a lot, especially in aviation logistics, push the rock uphill. Because sometimes it's just impossible to get things done. Well, here's what I want you to know. You've got to have the impetus to get the rock moving. Are you hearing me? Some days, ladies and gentlemen, most days, the only momentum around uh, you is what you create. My man Greg says, the vice president, he says, we had to choose between toilet paper and beans in 1986. Young Marines couple stationed in D.C. had to grind. You had to have an impetus, Greg. You said, man, I got a wife, I got a family, I got beans, and I got toilet paper. Well, you know what? We'll buy half and half. I'll buy two rolls of toilet paper and a couple cans of beans. But you know what? We didn't wait around for someone to, 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 to just patty cake with us and baby us. No, no, you know, you had, a, you had a mentality. You had the impetus. And pushing the rock uphill is part of the impetus. Some days there ain't going to be nobody cheering for you. Don't become a casualty of loneliness. Grinding, ladies and gentlemen, the mentality is lonely. Rest along the way. That's important. See, probably what this cat did was he had his eyes so much on the prize that he forgot to rest. Rest and self-care is important. In those moments that you can, you should. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen, I'm giving you exclusive training. I would be making the people write this down and then say it out loud. In those moments that you can, you should. And in those moments that you can't, you shouldn't. 
It's just that simple. But you got to know. Don't wait for the starters. You have to be the impetus. That's the I in grind mode, man. I hope we're moving along. And so there's no illusion to success, ladies and gentlemen. If you tap into the grind mode one day, you'll be the impetus to push your rock over the hill. See, he probably just did not have the methods right. He didn't understand breathing and, and resting and, and pacing himself. So he tried to push the rock all the way up. And by the time he got to the top, the, the work and the weight was too much. See, busyness is not accomplishment, ladies and gentlemen. Activity is not accomplishment. Stop thinking that. But the impetus means, you know what? I'm going to make this happen. And the result is I'm going to get this rock over the hill. I'm not just going to push the rock. I'm going to get it over the hill. Those in grind mode embrace being the impetus. You know, if I walk in a room and there's some sort of thing supposed to be happening and ain't nobody taking charge and ain't nothing going on and everybody's kind of just hee-hawing around, looking at like sheep, just wondering what to do, it is it is in my nature to say, okay, y'all, let's let's get together. And I ain't even in charge. It's just it is just in your DNA as a grind mode thinker, man. Some people say, Well, that's you're just a control freak. No, I got this the impetus. I want to make things happen. And those that are in grind mode mentality, they do things differently. What does the end stand for? We're coming down for a landing, ladies and gentlemen. I might get you there. Oh, man, we're doing good. 907, man, we're doing good. What does the N in grind mode stand for? It does not stand for Netflix. <laughs> for those of you that can't see, uh, we're listening to our podcast on Impact Life 24-7 with your host, C.L. King. I have a, an image of Netflix up on the screen. And giving people the idea of what does the N in grind mode stand for? No, it does not stand for Netflix. The N, y'all gonna love this boy. This is this boy. I feel the Holy Ghost on this one. <laughs> the N is the point of no return. That's what the N is. The point of no return. See, and what is the point of no return? Let me help you. The place in, in a course of action beyond which reversal is not possible. For example, once the contract is signed, we've reached the point of no return. There's some similarities there. No, indeed, absolutely not. Most certainly not. Of course not. Under no circumstances, by no means, not at all. Negative, never. I am not turning back and what i see people do is they start and they stop and they start and they stop and they start and they stop and they start and they stop well i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do it and then they've got a point of no return ever they never reach that point where they say you know what i'm just going for it i talked to somebody the other day i had them i interviewed them on my show they said man they came to a point where they said okay i'm done with my job i'm like oh man you you walking out in some serious grind mode yep i'm done with my job i'm going i'm doing this full time i've reached the point of no return. And what is your V1? See, in aviation, because you guys know I'm an aviation expert, I've studied aviation for the last 30 years. <laughs> what is your V1? The point of no return. In aviation, V1 is the speed during takeoff known as the point of no return. In grind mode, everyone's point of no return is different. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. The point of no return is not reckless. The point of no return can vary based off of major life events. See, because here's what happens. The pilot, they begin to roll and the plane begins to roll down the tarmac. And they're, they're, the co-pilot is, is giving off the speed indicators at each 10-mile interval, 10 knots. 20 knots and the pilot's hand remained on the throttle until the point of no return is reached. Why? Because stopping is an option until V1. 
<laughs> and V1, ladies and gentlemen, is the point of no return. Here's what I want you to know, man. I wasn't doing, I didn't bring Greg along for us to have some just little cute side hustle. This is not something where we just want to come and patty cake with your organization or, or give kids some tickling messages in their ears. No, our mission is to reach a million students and then eventually a million students a year. Our mission is to train people on how to get out of their stuck mentality. Our mission is to train folks how to get into a mode of grinding. And you know what? There is a point where we're saying, man, you know what? This is, we're going all the way. When you reach V1 in an aircraft, stopping and returning is no longer an option. The plane must take flight. That's why when they say 50 knots, 60 knots, 80 knots, V1, the next thing you hear is rotate. That means the captain pulls back on the yoke and that big iron bird is getting in the sky. We, we, we can't go back. We ain't trying to go back to the tarmac. Somebody forgot their bag. We ain't doing that. I'm telling you, somebody said this to me the other day and I believe it. We talk about having bad apples in certain industries and employments, man. We can't afford bad apples anywhere. Could you imagine having bad apples for pilots? How many times do you need a pilot to land a plane right? Every time. And so you got to understand what your point of no return is, ladies and gentlemen. You must know your point of no return because stopping is an option until you reach that point. And everyone knows it. Everyone knows it in their life. If you're paying attention, if you're in grind mode, you know that there's this tipping point where you go from just, man, we we hustling. We out here selling mixtapes and we out here hustling, uh, you know, juices and berries. And we out here trying to get our, our nonprofit off the ground. There, there are all those points in which you're doing it and the knots are speeding up. You're seeing 10 knots, 20 knots. Somebody's shouting out the, the indicators. That's what's happened to us. You know, we started a, a podcast and we were just, like okay we're gonna try this and you know we started a speaking business and man we spoke in almost four hundred thousand people but that ain't nothing but a drop in the bucket that's nothing everybody see four hundred thousand folks is great man that can't keep greg and i food on our table you need four hundred thousand people a year i'm just telling you it's a mentality that's different y'all it's a mentality that's totally different the grind mode when somebody gets in that mode they differ from everybody else. And you got to know what your point of no return is that says, man, you know what? I'm up. I'm up. If you look on the screen, those of you can see it live, that, that big 747, four engine, probably Pratt & Whitney turbo fans producing all that thrust. Once it, reach, once it reaches, Greg, the point of no return, it's going to fly. And as you're going down the runway, you've got to go down the runway of your life with that intention that I'm trying to get to the, 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 the end in the grind mode is the point of no return. I'm trying to get to my V1. I, I got to keep pushing. I got to keep taking risks. The faster the plane goes, the greater the risk. The faster the plane goes, the greater the danger. Landing and taking off in aviation is the most dangerous times. But you got to go. You got to push. You got to grind. You got to have this point in your mind that says, you know what? It's here. I'm there. I'm going up. No matter what. And you see why, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Could you imagine this in a live event? This is this this training is is our is our marquee training. When we train people to to start thinking about that, man, you can think about this, and you can hear this training, and you can just be um a uh, entry level worker. You know, you could just be a data data entry clerk. And if you start thinking about it, man, you know what? I'm 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 going to generate uh, I'm going to generate some something. I'm going to be the impetus. Right. I'm going, I'm, I'm, you can, you can apply this in any level of work scope anywhere. You might be able to rewind Netflix that is centered around entertainment, but your point of no return 
can be a make or break moment. <laughs> Y'all hear me? They do not ever abort when they reach the point of no return. Never. Y'all remember the, the Concorde, the big, beautiful plane uh, that was uh, created by the British, I believe. And they were, ta this is why the Concorde went out of service. You know, it was supposed to be supersonic. They were able to get you from New York to, you know, Italy in three or four hours. Well, one of the tragedies of that, of that plane was it had reached V1 and fire was coming out of one of its engines. Even in a fire, the plane took off. You would think, man, throttle down, kill it, stop. There is no return once you reach V1. You have a point of no return. And this is what you should be doing, man. If you're talking about your dream, if you're talking about your goal, if you're talking about what you want to do in life, if you're talking about that book you want to write, if, you want, if you're talking about that business you want to start, if you're talking about that group you want to lead, if, you want, if you're talking about that training, if you're going back to school, there is a point of no return, man. You got to find it. You got to keep your hand on the throttle. Don't go back to the gate talking about, I can't do this no more. Man, you know, you know how many nights I want to just be like, Greg, I'm done, man. I don't, I don't feel like doing this no more. You know how many nights, uh, you know, that I, I'm working on this book and I'm just like, man, you know what? <laughs> Who cares? My story is good enough. I should just be able to tell it. Man, you, take all these things that, all these peripheral things that that are uh, surrounding you, that are helping you move forward. Those are your speed indicators to get you to the point of no return. So what's the D stand for? The D in grind mode. What does it stand for? It does not stand for dessert. <clears throat> and I know, like I told you, people like sugar. They want to be told how sweet they are. They want to be told how good everything is. Y'all just some good, man, y'all should come to one of my live events with students. I don't cut students no slack. I'm hard on them, man. And they love it. I can see some of the teachers and principals and, and administrators cringing up in their seats, but man, they, the, the students love it. You know why? Because they want salt. They want to be told straight up, man. They, you know, I go in the hood and I'm speaking at a school where, where, you know, 30% of the kids are reading on grade level and I can't go in there and tickle their ears and just tell them, Oh man, you guys are going to make it. No, I got to give them the tools. I got to say, man, listen here, if you want to get out of this situation, cause I was in the same situation with you. I was, I was came up just like this. Let me tell you what kind of mentality you got to be in. You got to be seeing some sparks in your life. And if all you seeing is fluff and marshmallows and, and cake and candy and, and cheesecake and dessert, you ain't going nowhere. They keep inviting me back. So I must be doing something right. <laughs> D is for destiny. Watch this D in the grind mode is for destiny. The events that will cause that will necessarily happen. Okay. The events that will necessarily happen to a particular person or thing in the future. You got to know your destiny, y'all. The hidden power believed to control what will happen the future. Or they say it's your fate. This is why sometimes, man, you know what? I just come, we come on the show and we're just going to get it. You know, we, we get events lined up and we're just going to get it because we understand that this is our destiny. Okay. It is, it is our destiny to, to reach a million students as it is. It is our destiny to help moms and dads all across the country and around the world. It is our destiny. That's my destiny. That's what I'm called to do. I'm not called to just work 30 years and get a gold watch and a plaque up on my wall. There's a destiny. And when somebody understands their destiny, all the other stuff is just window dressing. They get focused. They, they get in a mode. They get in a mentality that says, man, I ain't like everybody else. Love him or hate him. Michael Jordan was different. Love him or hate him. Kobe Bryant was different. Love him or hate him. LeBron James is different. 
These guys are at the top. And, you know, we got debates on all. We can go back to the 1940s and the guys with the little baby, baby Daisy Duke shorts playing basketball and all that. Let me just give you these three. Okay, because Jordan, his circle of friends was small, y'all. Because his tenacity and his mentality for his destiny overrode everything. It overrode friendships. It overrode camaraderie. It overrode everything. The ultimate goal was to win. It's a different mentality. Those folks in grind mode, they're, they're a different mentality. You know, I use Clubhouse from time to time, and I think it's a great networking tool, but I have yet to find Warren Buffett on there. Don't y'all get mad at me, y'all clubhousers. I'm just telling you that there's a, some people have a different mentality. I don't find him on TikTok. I, I don't find him on, you know what I'm saying? Are you feeling me? Are you feeling me? I, I don't find him on TikTok making 20, 30 second videos about pulling butter out the refrigerator so he can get a million views. He ain't got time for that. <laughs> it's great. You see Warren Buffett on TikTok. He's in it. grind mode is different, man. They got a destiny, man. They ain't got time to be playing around. Now, look, I mess around on TikTok, and I, like I told you, I mess around in Clubhouse. But, but I'm seeing that there is a different. There, there is a just there is a, just a different mentality. MJ had a different mentality. The, the Black Mama, Kobe Bryant, had a different mentality, man. I mean, he just he ran off the White Howard and he ran off Shaq, and he was just different, man. Is the, there was blood dripping from the so corner of his mouth that he just wanted to win. It was his destiny. LeBron the same way. LeBron can be acid. He can be prickly. He's just, he's just uh, sometimes unapproachable, but because they have this mentality, man, you just they're just different. They're not like everybody else. And the D in grind mode is for destiny. Greg says he wants to be the first you want to be the first or you are the first international evidence specialist in the New Bern Police Department. I want to be the best. That's right, man. Greg is putting in the grind. It's a mentality. It's different, man. You ain't the same as everybody else. You know, I, I, I'll be honest with you, man, as I get older and I get closer to my destiny, my circle of friends is smaller. I ain't got a bunch of homies that I hang with. That don't mean I'm too good to hang with them. I just, I'm just on a different path, man. I'm just going a different direction. I love you. I, I'm down with you, man. If you need me, y'all know it. Okay. I give out money all the time to people I don't even know. Y'all know I'm down, but man, I, I ain't got to, I really just don't got time for a bunch of other superfluous stuff. I'm trying to get there, man. I don't want to be 80 years old and be like, man, Greg, remember we tried it. Man, I, be, I believe it's what, man, I watched the documentary on Biggie Small, man. That brother, he was he was just doing mixtapes, man. He thought, you know, at first he thought he was just going to be a drug dealer. That was what New York was about. He was just going to slang some dope. And then they realized the man had a flow unlike anybody else. Sean P. did. He said, man, I, Sean Puffy Combs, whatever he was. He said, man, I got to get, I got to get this dude, man. We got to push. And so they began, they began to switch mentalities and, and, and uh, Biggie Small said, man, I, you know, I think I can make a little change off of this. And the brother went, the brother went triple platinum, but his mentality was different. His mentality was different. You know, MC Hammer lost all of his stuff because he had to have 5,000 homies with him in his, in his, in his entourage. I don't see Warren Buffett and Bill Gates rolling with no big old entourage. And them brothers billionaires. <laughs> I'm just telling you, they're different. It's a different mentality. You can psychoanalyze everything you want, but those that are in grind mode, they're different. And they understand their destiny. It's a hidden power believed to control what will happen in the future. Future, fate, fortune, doom. Lot, portion, due, the dole, the providence, the predestination, divine decree, God's will. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what your destiny is. God's got a plan for your life. And you cannot get derailed by all this other junk. Your habits, character, 
and drive can determine your destiny. Boy, man, Greg, brother, I'm telling you what, when we get to be back live doing this training, bro, man, we just going to, we're going to blow the roof off these places, man. Measure your, measure your goals. Track the steps you are taking towards your goals. Every time you complete a part of your goal, smile and consider it as being a well done accomplishment toward achieving your vision getting closer to your destiny. Keep on moving. You are still breathing. It is not over. But you're getting there. I remember episode like 90 something, y'all. I was ready to throw in the towel for podcasting. I just felt like I look at the numbers every night. I look at the analytics. I mean, I'm an analytics guy, so I want to see. I like to see the ebbs and flows and how, man, all of a sudden, man, we're in we're in Russia. I didn't, man, how did, how did we get in Russia? Then, then, you know, look two days later and there's only 50 downloads and this is like, Oh my goodness, the ebbs and flows. But man, let me tell you something. I love you, Javi, man. You I love what you're doing, brother. I'm, I'm, I'm down me and Javi, man. I, Javi allowed me to the honor to be on their board. The, um, y'all know, I just drew a blank. Ninja, help me, Alfie. Can you type it in there? What it is that you do again, brother? You know, I just, you know, I forget everything. That's because of seven years of back pain, narcotics. What, what is it? Ninja, just help me t type it in the chat, bro. Avi, Avi is starting something from the adversity of his life and using it to change the world. Underdog Ninja. I knew it was a you. I just couldn't remember. I was about to say unapologetic Ninja. The underdog Ninja, man. Javi's gone through open heart surgery. He's, he's, he's experienced stints that's closed up, man. And and you know what? He couldn't be like everybody else. He couldn't continue to go to McDonald's and eat fries and burgers and have fried chicken and, and barbecue and greens on the picnics, man. He said, you know what? I got to find something that is for me and it ain't going to be like everybody else. He went to a plant-based diet. Who eats plants all the time? But Javi said, man, you, you know what? My life is more important than what everybody else is putting in their mouth. And I realize what I'm putting in my mouth, it's going to change my life's trajectory. And so this man said, I am going to be different. Woo! You know what I'm saying, Javi? Brother, that's what I'm talking about, man. When we get together and do some live events, it's going to be off the hook, bro. Javi is the man, and he understood what his destiny is, and that's the D in grind mode, ladies and gentlemen. Giving you this training for free tonight it comes down 24 hours after this moment. Measure your goals. Keep moving. Keep your focus. Do not let distractions hinder you. Don't let distractions hinder you. Your directions like watching TV and scrolling through social media all day. Get off TikTok, y'all. <laughs> Stop scrolling in everybody's backyard and start cutting your own grass. That's your destiny. Establish some quality specific goals within timelines that you can be sure you can achieve. Capture every fine detail about your goals. Destiny is not a matter of chance. Y'all hear me? It's a matter of choice. I didn't steal these, these bullets from somebody's 101 ways to find your destiny. This is what God gave me to put together. Know what you really, really want. Pray, prepare, and proceed. <laughs> I'm not saying no TV, but you know what, brother? Sometimes social media and everything else, the, the trappings of our life can be a thief of our time. So get going and keep going. No matter how you feel, your destiny is designed exclusively for you. You don't have to wait for dessert. Your destiny is right now. So I want to thank you guys for coming to our grind mode training. I just felt the Lord told me to do it tonight. Uh, I usually do it in private groups, private paid groups, y'all. <laughs> but I said, nah, man, I want to, I want to, I want to bless the folks that, that, um, I want to bless the folks that, that I deal with and that support this show. We bless them. And I know the Lord will return back to me a hundredfold. If not, I'll just have Greg pay for it. <laughs> so 
listen, man, grind mode is the real deal, y'all. After this show, after we mix down everything and send it all out to all the networks, and it, you know, it's a kind of an automated process, but we still got to do some work. I've got a pre-interview after this. Yes, sir. At ten o'clock tonight, Eastern Standard Time. You know why? Because it's a different mentality. I realize, man. And it's not just about being busy. It's not just about working yourself into the ground because I'm getting the whole, man, we tell our kids now, yo, we out. Mom and dad deuces. Y'all grown. Y'all figured out. Y'all always going out to eat, going out to eat with mom and dad gone. <laughs> That's what we did. We just bounced. We said we're going to Myrtle Beach. We didn't plan nothing. We just packed a quick bag. We had to find a place when we got there. So we believe in resting. But I want you to understand that the grind mode is different, man. It's a different mentality. It's a different mode. If you'd like us to bring this training to your team, virtually or in person, you can contact us at clkingspeaker.com or my right-hand man. I'm Batman. He's Robin or whatever superhero he wants to be. You can contact Greg at 252-626-8987. He is the only number that y'all get because he answers his phone. And if he don't answer his phone, he will call you back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for Impact Life 24-7 with your host, CL King. Uh, we got a great thing coming up in, uh, let me see here. We got a great thing coming up in May, May 20th. Greg has helped put together a career day for young people. And uh, so I'm gonna, we're going to be putting together, our team's going to put together a flyer for that. And uh, we want you guys to to get young people to participate and check it out we'll make it an event they can come ask questions we're going to have six professionals is it six greg six career professionals on our show that's going to tell about how it, what it takes to be get into that field and and the nuances and the details and, and just give kids and and, and and maybe even some adults because you know there's a lot of force hiring signs out there y'all adults might need a job too <laughs> <laughs> Look, we hiring too, man. We got some stuff we need people to do, man. So, uh, yes, uh, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great great show. Uh, that's gonna be May the twentieth, right here live, and uh, it's a career day. So. <laughs> you know, Michelle, I said, you know, when I work for myself, I got to represent CL King. And so, uh, that, you know, I throw people off sometimes. Sometimes I've got the ball cap on and other times, you know, I just want to be corporate. So when we go speak out, it's always suits. And me and Greg usually match. We be <laughs> we got this bromance going on. He'll call me and say, King, what we wearing today? I said, brother, we wearing blue suits today. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but it's just a different mentality and I feel different when I dress like this I'm in a different different mode mindset and so the grind mode ladies and gentlemen is a different mode I love y'all um, and we will be back here on Impacting Life 24 7 thank you for all of our sponsors thank you to Michelle thank you to everyone that uh, supports Impacting Life 24 7 Greg Dr. Dunlap everyone we appreciate you I didn't get to run a commercial tonight because I was running my mouth too much but uh, we'll run it a couple times extra tomorrow okay I love you God bless you thank you for supporting Impacting Life 24 7 with your old CL King go to clkingspeaker.com if you want to be a part of what we got going on talk to you later <laughs>